Today, I want to talk about rededication. So many people that I've prayed with over the years, they have no problem in starting towards a goal. But they get halfway there and they get fatigued. It's kind of like the runner that is running a race. There is fatigue. But often when there's fatigue going towards a goal, you tend to give up. You tend to stop trying. You tend to say, this is too hard. We have a saying at Positive Christianity, and that is this. See from the end. Always see where you're going. Imagine it in your mind that you're already there. And then the climb, the walk, the run, it becomes so much easier. Let me quote to you 1 Peter 5, verse 2. It says, Tend the flock of God that is your charge. Well, what is the flock of God? I would like you to consider thinking of this as divine ideas given to you by God. Divine ideas that will charge you, that will rededicate you that will thrill you through and through with what is possible for you. And then it goes on. It says, not by constraint, but willingly. So often when we're fatigued, we're we're constrained. We say, no, no, not anymore. I've had enough of this. This today is a good time to rededicate ourselves to the special projects and purposes that we want in our lives. At the midpoint of any journey that we're on, spiritually or physically, the stretch of the road already traveled and the one yet to be traveled can (laughs) seem like it's exceedingly long and tiring. It is something that we either constrain our thoughts and think from lower human mind only, or we open our thoughts and we tend the flock of God, which are the divine ideas that always say the best of you and what you want to accomplish. And when you do that, you will be holding true to a course of improving health, of knowledge, of wonderful relationships in your life, and you'll be making a renewed commitment to achievement, knowing that with God, you can achieve. With God, you can rededicate yourself. With God, you can keep on keeping on. We know that the underlying good of any attempt of improvement is following the will of God. And even at a halfway point, which for a human being is the danger point, we know that there will be a wealth of experiences and blessings if we keep on. And we will know that our journey is part of the great discoveries of life, that we will discover wonderful things way ahead of our achievement, wonderful blessings way ahead of our uh, achievement that we're going towards. I've always told my children to make everything 360. Don't do it halfway. Don't start something and then give up. You've got to complete it all the way. And with God, you are a completed individual, a successful individual. I pray for you today. I pray that you are rededicated, recharged, and that you have all that you need given to you in divine ideas. And you tend that flock of divine ideas. You don't throw them out say, no, I'm not good enough for this. I can't do it. God, you've got to find somebody else. 
No, you know you're the one that they have been given to you. And I pray that you accept this. I pray that you know this. And I pray that you're made new by this.